That concludes our elected officials and tribal representatives signed up to speak. Okay, and forgive me if I missed it, but <clears throat> I, you indicated earlier that Lynn Compton was- I, I'm here. Are you unmuted? I'm unmuted. Is that, is that on behalf of an elected official? I am the elected official. Forgive me. Please That's okay. <laughs> I was switching. We had a LAFCO meeting going on, so I'm just trying. I had Caleb as my stand-in, my ledge aide, but I, I'm here. I'm sorry. We were we were confused if you were speaking on behalf of your office or on behalf of yourself. So I'm sorry for the confusion. Um. Well, I represent this office, so I'm I'll, I'm speaking on behalf of my constituents in Oceano, basically. All right. District. All right. Well Another point I'd like to make for clarification is in your staff report, your report refers to the Oceano Advisory Committee on four separate occasions. I wish to clarify this committee to you. They do not speak for me, nor do I believe they speak for most Oceano residents. This is not a publicly elected committee and the current members choose new members to be on the committee, such as friends if a spot becomes vacant. This is not elected by any voice of the community, nor appointed by myself or my office. Additionally, most of the members on that committee are the same members that are on the recently formed Oceano Beach Community Association. Thank you very and their much. main objective is with current membership to close the dunes. Thank so please, much. after representing this area for six years, take all of these facts into consideration and, and make a comment. Thank you very Thank much. You.